Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to What I Learned by Playing Bloodborne. This is my second playthrough of the game where I'm just going to talk about the things which I learned and discovered through my first playthrough. Um, if I'm wrong about anything, let me know. And if you enjoy this episode and you want to see me do this for another week, then um, let me know and I'll make the episodes much longer for other people. This is an important item here. Um, before I accept this and talk about this, in the last episode, I went to the sewers to get a bit of Madman's knowledge. Um, I wanted to talk about that item or what the item does. The item gave me one counter or one unit of insight. Insight is a very important stat into this game. If I go to the status screen, you see your insight there. There are two stats here which I want to point out. You have insight and beasthood. Insight and beasthood seem to have a inversely proportional relationship with each other. The more insight you have, the weaker your beasthood is. The less insight you have, the stronger your beasthood is. What insight is about in this game is, um, well, insight, the word insight really means understanding, the way you see the world. Now, often in religion, people like to say that you don't want to, you can't teach everyone everything about religion. Or you can't teach them everything about about your higher God's teaching straight away because you're not going to understand it. For you to be able to understand the wisdom of a God or a higher being, you need more insight in your life. And therefore people try to do different things such as meditation or just to achieve a high level of spirituality in order to be able to understand the world from a greater perspective. That's kind of what insight reflects in this game. Insight is a mechanic in this game which doesn't have too much of a practical use. It has a few uses, but it's more about what you can see in the world. And the idea is that that the more insight you have, the more the world you actually understand. Beasthood, on the, ha on the other hand, is kind of a reflection of what you don't understand, what you're confused about, and that is what reflects most humans. Now. I had to go out of my way to earn insight, whereas my beasthood stat is already there, which kind of implies that all humans have beasthood inside of them, it just depends on what they've taken in order to trigger it, kind of like getting drunk in a way in a permanent state. Um, so we are all beasts really, as this game implies, but it's those who get really infected that turn into beasts. If you have higher insight, you don't turn into a beast, you become something else. Now having insight really affects the hunter's dream as you sh as anyone who's played this game will know the first thing it does is it wakes up this doll here it allows you to see this doll here but the question is why would you need insight to see a doll animate itself who knows hello good hunter i am a doll here in this dream to look after you honorable hunter pursue the echoes of blood and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. So she's a very important character. I'll talk to her one more time. With German. He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure unseen in the dreaming world still he stays here in this dream such is his purpose she in that sentence alone you only hear it at this part of the game she talks to you about german a bit more german was a hunter like us as she said and so in two episodes ago when i first arrived at the hunter's dream i described i talked about how the way hunter's dream is written is written as a singular with a possession, um, a, a possession of a singular, we're using hunter apostrophe s, meaning that this dream belongs to. Sorry, little lady, this dream belongs to one person, and I am. Um, I believe that this dream belongs to German. This is German's dream where we are, and somehow we've managed to pass through it. Perhaps the contract, quote unquote, at the beginning of the game allows us to come here. Let's talk to her a little bit more. Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? 
who she's talking about there are the messengers. The messengers lie in the bath like this, and you saw them at the beginning of the game. They're very, very creepy creatures, but they are here to help you. They're very, very docile, and it's kind of hard to work out where they came from or why they exist here. I'm actually really not sure towards that. What I do want to do though is come in here and see speak to Gurman one more time. He's saying old stuff again. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but oh, you're welcome to use whatever you find. So this is the hunter's workshop. The door, should it please you? This is the hunter's workshop where hunters would come here to um, fix their weapons and therefore prepare to hunt for beasts. But what's really weird here is what he says at the end. But just fast forward a bit. It's really weird how he lowers his voice when he does that and almost kind of whispers to you. Um, when I first heard him say that, I kind of thought he was being kind of perverted. Almost saying like, you know, you can do whatever you want to do to this doll. You know, so um, it was really, really strange. Um, but German and the doll are the only two characters here besides the messengers. And so... Um, well, I, I can't really talk too much about the doll just yet until I see a little bit later on. Okay, so I've talked enough about what I found here in um, in the um, in the Hunter's Dream thus far. So I'm going to go back to Yarnum and I'm going to make my way... Oh, I didn't level up. I'm going to level up and then I'm going to make my way back to Yarnum to talk a little bit more about what we could find. Okay, welcome back. So back here in Central Yarnum, the first thing which I want to do is I want to see something over here. Something which I did, I have actually never done before. Once you um, have an insight and you go over to the Hunter's Dream, there's a little light that appears here and it has a message. Ring the beckoning bell if you require assistance. And I'm going to do that right now. Guys, this is Father Gascoigne. Father Gascoigne is a character who we, I think we have met before. Wow, he's a lot bigger than I am. Father Gascoigne is a, 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 a person you meet much later on. But uh, where do I go from here? I, I believe that at the start of the game, in the very opening... Con oh, wow, I summoned that other person. I did actually want to summon someone else. Um, that I believe that... Father Gascoigne was the person that made your contract and infused you with blood at the start of the game. Um, I don't know what just happened just there. I think another player has been spawned and they are fighting with me somewhere else. Yep, someone else is here. Hey, dude. Wow, that is a character. Wow, <laughs> that's going to completely throw me off. So Father Gascoigne is here with you and you can actually summon him much earlier. And there's a lot which you can do with Father Gascoigne. He's uh, very strong, and you actually, um, it's great to have him on your side, I suppose. Wow, how many people are you going to start summoning? Okay, there's something which I actually need to do here. I need to use a silence in blank. Wow, how many people am I going to summon? I've never actually summoned someone before. This is kind of ridiculous. But whatever, let them all come along. Now, what I'm going to do here is, considering I've got other people playing with me, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to give them what they want. They want to clear away to the boss for me. So, yeah, okay, let's go do this boss. This wasn't what I was going to plan to do. Uh, thank you, people. I wish I had an emote to say thank you. Do I have an emote? Uh, hunter salutation. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. So these are hunters. They're going to help me with this boss right now. Unfortunately, can't come in straight away as this is my first time. And, yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. Right, this is a different type of beast. This is a cleric beast. Cleric is a word which is often used to describe a kind of a healer. Someone to... Well, let's, I'm just going to spell it out. This is someone who, I guess, worked for the healing church. And when they say they blocked up the bridge, I'm guessing what they're saying is that they used this beast to block the bridge. It suggests that the healing ward or the healing church has people that also have turned into beasts. I really shouldn't need to fight in this one. In fact, I might just stand back. Because if I die, everyone loses here. So I'm just going to stand back, really, and let them do their job here. 
kind of didn't want to do this, but whatever. Thank you guys so much. You guys really, I really, really appreciate that. And now they're going to head back. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, do I need to use the silence in blank? Yeah, no, they're done. So they, those people, they join me because they get a reward for doing co-op as part of their clan. Eh, well, I'm glad to help people out. Whatever. What I actually wanted to do was to take Father Gaston to go and see a character. I'm going to light this lamp here. Now, this character is um, a little further on. It's his daughter. I wanted to take him back to his house and show you what happens. If you've played this game before and you've met Gascoigne's daughter, then um, when you bring Gascoigne, um, you'll know that she asks you to find her daddy for you. Um, for her. What uh, happens if you bring Gascoigne there is he will start to laugh when he's there. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll have to find maybe another way to show that off. Um, now, if I can remember the path towards Gascoigne's daughter, I will go and show you that. But what I think I will do is I think I will end this episode there today. So, um, yeah. I think I'm going to go find Gascoigne's daughter for the final episode for this week of. And, um, yeah, whatever. Thank you very much for watching, as always, guys. Um, really, really appreciate all the support, as always. And um, if you have any feedback or anything do you want to say, just let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see me do more of these videos for another week, except for this one, then let me know and I'll make much longer videos for another week if people are still willing to watch it. So that's enough awful for me. I've been Sean Arnold. Thank you very much for watching. Much love. Take care and goodbye.